people say to me all the time, John, what's this great awakening that you're talking about? We don't have the majority of the people. The masses are still asleep. We need at least 51% to move forward into a new paradigm. What I'm saying to them is, hell no, you got it all wrong. Hey, hey, Inspire Tribe, my fellow freedom lovers, it's John Nolan here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notifications button so you'll get notified about new videos every day. All right, let's dive into it. So many people that we speak to that are seeing the bigger picture and that are experiencing consciousness shifts themselves and that are experiencing what they call and what we call the Great Awakening are saying they're so often hopeless because the masses are asleep, the masses don't see it, and we cannot really transform uh, this whole thing here, the society, humanity, unless we have the majority of the people. There's only one field in human society where the majority of the people is needed, and that's in political elections. You need 51% or 50.1%, actually, um, to have a majority. Nowhere else is this needed, and it is a complete misunderstanding and misrepresentation of the field of all creation and how paradigm shifts actually happen. The beautiful thing, I'll throw it out right, right out there, there seems to be a golden number as to how many people need to have a paradigm shift fully integrated in order for the whole society as a whole to shift fundamentally, and that's only 3% of the people. Now, you do the math, but if you take 8 billion people, 3% is only 240 million people. That's all we need. And apparently, a lot of people say it's actually less than that, but let's stick with that number. What would possess me of saying that? Why would I say something like that? Well, it's simple. First of all, in, in observation of history, brilliant new shifts were never born in the minds of the masses. No big development in human society was born from the masses. It was born from a smaller group of very conscious and more mature people that actually could envision a new path forward. And this is exactly what we're speaking of. You can look this up in the hundredth monkey effect. This has been uh, rep re repeated over and over this experience. Go look it up. But many other similar uh, experiments have been conducted, not least a lot of peace meditations by highly spiritually educated people that got together in a conflict zone somewhere in the Middle East, for example, and other places in the world, and they meditated peace. And this energy translated into the field and reflected back to the people as a ceasefire and killings going down, attacks going down and everything. This is measurable. This has been done over and over again. The theory is very simple. If you believe in conscious co-creation, you also have to believe that there is a field all around us that records our intentions, our vibrations, our feelings, and reflects back to us accordingly. So what that means is that it isn't enough for you to know things. It isn't enough for you to know a truth about something or to figure have some figured something out. What needs to happen is you need to fully integrate absolute 100% personal responsibility for your feeling, for your thoughts, and for your actions. Then, when you take full responsibility, you choose what kind of thoughts, feelings, and actions you actually want, and you bring them into alignment with your highest intention. That means if your highest intention is peace, love, freedom, authenticity, truth, you start putting all your thoughts, feelings, and actions into alignment with those intentions. Now, when you fully integrate this and you can envision a different future and you can feel it and you can taste it and you can smell it, you can touch it, then you begin to live that future in the present moment vibrationally and with all your actions and words. Then what happens when two, three, four, five, six hundred thousand, a million people, uh, 80 million, 240 million people do this, which is happening on a massive scale? This dominant, strong vibration, intentional vibration, intentional thoughts, feelings, and actions are projected onto the field, and a mass consciousness shift begins to happen because now part of the species, a critical mass, has learned something new, has evolved beyond the current paradigm, and this is projected on the field, and the field projects it back onto vast numbers among the populations, if not all of them. This is what's called the 100th monkey effect. People learn 
because we have learned and integrated and they themselves don't have to go through the same process. They just receive the essence of it and they shift. Now this sounds like magic, but this is truly how it works and how it has worked. If you look at just as the, the, the founding of this, this nation here, United States of America, it was a small, small, tiny group of people that perceived, understood, and lived freedom, liberty, and that has then projected onto all the others. It is a very, very powerful thing, and it gives us more than hope. It is a knowing that all we have to do is live that, envision it, fully integrated, which means every fiber of your being needs to be fully invested, needs to be on board with it. Then you are authentic. And I believe we have surpassed the hundreds of millions already. So I believe we are at paradigm shift numbers already. We're either scratching or it's already beginning to happen. My theory is we're already in a transformational age. Do not worry too much about the masses. You don't need 50%. You don't need 51, 30, 20. We're talking about a tiny fraction of the population. 3% at most. If this doesn't give you more than hope, if this doesn't inspire you to become this true authentic version that you were always meant to be and live up to that I don't know what will inspire tribe. This is what we're doing every day. This is what we're teaching every day. What we're hopefully inspiring in people every day. It is the true definition of divine empowerment. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll be back with you again very, very soon. We're more dedicated than ever to provide authentic, truthful, and uncensored information and inspiration. That's why we created the Inspired Community on a free speech platform, Locals. There is no censorship, a free flow of information, and it's more personal and intimate. And you can join us as a free member or a paid supporter. Please visit inspired.locals.com and join us today.